Please use passphrases, people. Please. And lock your laptops. Hey everyone, Kiki from SSW here. Today we have an exciting discussion between Oliver, a principal security tester at Mercury ISS, and Rob from SSW. We're going to be diving into the world of cybersecurity and learning why penetration testing is important for your company. Let's jump in. I'm Oliver. I am a principal penetration tester. Uh, I've been in the industry for about five to six years, and I've been in IT for about 10. So what is a pen test? So a pen test or a penetration test um, is when a company or an individual asks you to uh, perform a basically a simulated cybersecurity uh, attack against their infrastructure or an application or a device. Uh, a good example of this would be the penetration test we're doing now, um, which covers the internal portion of the SSW network, the external portion of the SSW network, which is everything facing the internet, and the wireless network, which is everything involving the um, APs in the building. Why would a company or business be interested in completing a pen test? So uh, a penetration test is one of the better ways to identify vulnerabilities in a network. Um, you use the same methodology an attacker would uh, to identify uh, vulnerabilities or misconfigurations and then push them to their logical extremes to see what you can do. So what do you look for? Like what's the common sort of issues you find? So uh, it really does depend on the type of tests. So for an internal network, that could be things such as Active Directory permissions misconfigurations. Uh, that could include, say, having the permissions to add yourself to a group you're not supposed to, such as domain administrators, um, or performing attacks against certain services of Active Directory. That could be something like Active Directory certificate services. For, say, an external network, that would be checking to see if there's any sort of exposed endpoints that shouldn't be exposed. Um, it also includes things such as uh, making sure that there's no like outdated versions of software or uh, unpatched hardware, uh, as well as as things. Uh, there's additionally things such as web application like vulnerabilities, so things like cross-site scripting, um, cross-site request forgery, or things like SQL injection or remote code execution. Are there any overlooked vulnerabilities that companies seem to miss? Um, yes, there are quite a couple. So. Um, a big one in internal networks would be something like exposed file shares. So that includes things such as leaving, uh, it's say you've uh, you know, been in a company for 10 years, there's going to be 10 years worth of data floating around in your network, whether that be on file shares, in SharePoints, or in other places such as emails. Um, and an attacker could access those if they have permissions. And if, if they do have the permission to access those, they could trawl them for things such as credentials, uh, private keys, uh, certificate files, uh, machine backups, and anything in between. What would be some easy wins for a business to secure themselves against these sort of attacks? So there are a couple quick easy wins. So a good one would be enabling MFA across the entire, like if a device needs to authenticate, it needs to require MFA. Um, also setting up for an internal network, something like engine policies to ensure that devices are compliant. So with things such as antivirus or software updates. And for, I'd say, personal use, uh, ensuring that uh, MFA is available on your phone, um, that you're using a password vault uh, with randomized passwords for each um, site or service that you're using. Uh, additionally, um, for, say, an external network, just having a look yourself and seeing, hey, is this actually supposed to be here? Uh, and sort of just reducing the entire scope of everything that you've got and then exposing things as you need to expose them to the internet. At SSW, we have quite a few different uh, roles. Uh, we have developers, sysadmins, solution architects, and accountants. How would they best apply pen testing concepts to their own role? So for something like a solutions architect, um, that would be baking in security by design. So if you're designing, say, a network or a set of applications um, that need to communicate with each other, making sure that uh, security concepts such as sanitizing your input, making sure that um, the principle of least privilege is applied across uh, the application or applications, and that if an application doesn't need to talk to another application or device or host, it, um, that there are controls in there to prevent it. Uh, for accountants, um, that would uh, the concepts for that would be more applied to fraud and making sure that this person says who they are. So it, double checking, making sure that hey. Um, person X is saying that they need, we need to pay an invoice. Is this really person X? Has it come from a normal email? Uh, has it come from their normal email? Is their language different? Is there any sense of urgency or anything along those lines? 
And then for systems administrators, that would include things such as remediation of vulnerabilities. So that would be identifying the same things that I would identify and rather than exploit them, remediate and make sure that uh, those changes do not cause any sort of disruption or issue in the network. Are there any tools that uh, sysadmins or devs can use to... Oh, plenty. So um, for systems administrators, uh, for something like an internal Windows network, tools such as Bloodhound and Pincastle are really fantastic at enumerating domains themselves. Um, they're both free. Uh, Pincastle does have a paid version, so you can't use it commercially. But additionally, um, you can use tools such as... Uh, you can use the operating system Kali OS, um, which is a penetration testing based operating system. So that has tools such as NetExec, which let you authenticate with things like LM, uh, SMB, LDAP, um, RDP, VNC, and other protocols. Um, and then there's other inbuilt tools such as, uh, I think, HCX uh, dump tool, uh, EPAMA, and AeroCrack and Aeromon NG for testing Wi Fi networks. So all of those tools do is capture wireless signals, see if there's any sort of uh, handshake captures the handshake, and then you can crack those passwords offline. Uh, for developers, um, tools such as Burp Suite or I believe Insomnia are really good for um, penetration testing web applications and APIs. And then from there, you can use, uh, you can use those tools to enumerate, modify, and uh, mess with requests and specific endpoints. So if I was to say supply a um, username and password to a website, I could put um, my name, and then I could put comma, and then one equals one, and then hit enter. And if there is an SQL vulnerability, SQL injection vulnerability, um, it would say that the statement is true, saying that one does equal one, and it would let you bypass authentication. How does SSW compare to other companies you pen tested before? Um, SSW, from in comparison to other typical companies, um, is quite secure. So there. Issues that have been identified, some of them are quite present in other organizations, um, but the degree and the severity of them here are not there. Uh, they're not at Cydia. Additionally, um, the attacks that I performed that usually would compromise a uh, domain, in this case, the SSW domain, were not successful, um, as the Active Directory Certificate Services uh, was configured correctly and patched. Um, there was very few group policy misconfigurations, so I could not uh, add myself to groups. I could not remove myself from groups. Um, I could not elevate my privileges that way. Additionally, um, my poisoning attacks from the tool responder um, were not successful. I was only able to grab some low privilege credentials, and from there I wasn't even able to relay them. Otherwise, uh, the internal network, I'd say, was a lot better in comparison to others, uh, and the wireless network was quite strong. If you like this, there's more great content at SSW TV. Stay safe, and I'll see you later.